and right now touch ID so the new touch ID is actually up here so it's pretty cool the way it works you can set up now or set up later so if you guys are planning to gift this to someone or you're selling it maybe I'm not really sure you don't want to import any personal information you can skip that so you can set up touch ID later just tap there and then just continue on however if you guys do want to set this up right now go on and you just have to touch it and then just go like this with your finger and I'm setting up the touch ID see how I'm lifting up my finger and placing it again and usually it's gonna be with this finger your index uh, you could use any other finger technically but for most of you it's gonna be that one so um, right now it said that it's okay we're gonna continue on and we're almost done so we just have to do the exact same thing so this is how you guys set up your fingerprint touch ID which is uh, something pretty cool that they got into iPads now without having that home button so add another fingerprint this is good because you can add another person for example it's just an example or another finger or you can set up that later in settings so that's especially when you rotate your iPad so you might want to use your right hand right to set that up and your left hand as well so you always you know whichever hand you use to touch that it's gonna work for now I'm gonna go on and since I already showed you how this works I'm gonna go on and set that up later and right now it's gonna ask me to create a passcode you do have passcode options so you want to show you that so you guys have those options I'm gonna choose four because it's just easier and since this is you know something that doesn't really matter to me I'm just gonna go one 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 use anyway you guys shouldn't use this if you care about about it I mean if somebody can get their hands on it you have personal information you shouldn't use something like this in my case it does not matter right now you guys can transfer any information that you guys had from your other iPad you can even transfer information from an iPhone there's certain things you can transfer not everything such as your contact stuff like that you can with your Apple ID all that stuff comes in anyways but um, that goes from your iCloud backup so that's the first option you guys can import stuff from Mac or PC or from Android as well. However, if you're brand new, most likely you don't have anything. And from Android, it's not that great. So I would skip that anyways if you come from Android. So don't transfer anything. All right. So the next step is going to ask you for your Apple ID. If you have one, this is the time to do that. Go ahead and put it in. If you don't have one, just go into the second option where it says forgot password or don't have an Apple ID. There are other, other options here I'm going to show you. Use device to sign in. Okay, so you can use another device to sign in or you can use multiple accounts. So we're just going to take a look at the normal stuff. We're going to pretend that you guys don't have an Apple ID and we're going to go in here. We can reset our password. That's not the problem here. We're going to create an Apple ID. So again, if you guys don't have an Apple ID, that's the option for you. Now, if you don't want to import any information to this iPad, you would use this set up later in settings. I highly suggest this for you. Go ahead and set up your Apple ID right now. Create one. If you guys don't want to import any information in here yet, then go on and set up later in settings. So press don't use. So whether you guys press don't use or you signed into your Apple ID, this will be popping up. Agree to it. And then later on, you're going to see this. The automatic update. Continue on. And then from here, this I would always turn this on. So you guys can use Google Maps and all that stuff. Siri, this is so cool to set up. It's actually really, really easy. So we're going to show you how to set this up right now. However, again, you guys can set up later in settings. So you guys can skip this part if you guys, again, don't want to import anything. But if you guys do want to put this Siri, go ahead and continue. What I like is voice number four. Hi, I'm Siri. So that's the, the voice you'd like one that use. I'm used to. You can change it later in settings. And yes, you can change it later in settings, like you said. And pretty much almost everything that we're doing right now, you can change later on, by the way. Anyways, continue on. Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. And Siri's ready. So that's how you guys can set up Siri. If you guys skip that part, don't worry about it. You would see this anyways. Well, not this part. Uh, right now we can share audio or not. Your choice. Screen time. This is something that I would set up if it's for your kids or something like that if it's for you 
most likely not because I, I don't think you guys will care about how much time you're getting on the screen but if you do go ahead and do it and you can set up some restrictions there too however if you don't care I'm going to set up later in settings then you can see this i highly suggest sharing with apple you don't have to again i highly suggest sharing this part is kind of nice so you guys can set up light dark and auto so auto means that it's going to change to dark at nighttime light during the day and if you guys always want it to be dark it's going to look like this but it's not the greatest thing for this video so i'm going to leave it as light i personally like dark it's better for my eyes and now we're going to get started and that's the basic stuff that you guys get on your ipad so what apps do you guys get pre-installed on your ipad without importing anything these are it right here and there's nothing else you guys are looking at everything that you guys get in your ipad right away without downloading anything so these are things i did not download these are just things that are installed in here already i just keep tapping on the wrong stuff i want to show you everything so let me just show you throughout all the screens and there you go that's it so it comes pre-installed like this now you do have a manual that teaches you how to go about an ipad and how to go and use everything within the ipad that's for the basics for beginners but this is just a setup video so i just showed you the main things from here you guys can edit everything from the ipad basically well almost everything from the ipad and that manual is really good for those of you who don't know how to handle your ipad but as of now we're done with the whole setup go ahead and enjoy your ipad and we'll see you later and if you guys have any comments questions don't forget to write them down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and like thank you